Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to a No Money Spent episode. I want to say this is episode number 11. I feel like every single time I mess it up, so it's 11 or 10 or 12. It's one of those three. <laughs> now, yesterday, we, uh, we finished up Weekend League, and it was tough. It was, it, it was a grind, and I finished with 16 wins and 8 losses. I couldn't even... I couldn't play the last game. I couldn't do it. Mentally, I couldn't handle it. Honestly, I should have probably finished with 18 wins. There was two losses that I had that were mind-blowing how they happened. I, I wasn't recording. I was trying to get the best rewards for you guys possible, and 16 wins is, is pretty good reward. So you guys will see that this week. You guys can also see that we reached Mutt level 50, which means we have our power up past 87 to 88 overall power up pass. Now, I'm not sure who I want to use this 87 to 88 overall power up pass on. It might be a quarterback, maybe a Patrick Mahomes, maybe Andrew Luck, maybe even a defensive back, maybe a safety defensive lineman. I'm not exactly sure yet. I kind of want to see how my team pans out over the next week or so, and then I'll probably use it. Now, with reaching Mutt Level 50, you get a special offer, and that special offer is a Level 50 Full Legend Pack. It's 20 bucks, and it guarantees you an 89 overall Full Legend player. Now, if you're no money spent, right, for me, I'm not going to buy this pack, right, because it's the point of the series is to not spend any money. But even if you're no money spent, right, scrounge up 20 bucks and buy this pack because it's it's the best value pack out there in my opinion i feel like it should be free i i don't really understand why you have to pay 20 dollars once you reach a certain level i personally like i said think it should be free but either way you guys i i would i would very highly suggest buying this pack I, guaranteed it's like 250 300k which for a no money spent team for 20 bucks that's good that's gonna help you out a ton and i can't remember what's the last team that i showed you but this is the team that i'm working with right now i have zach Ertz as my current tight end the offensive line is okay i'm working on getting theme builders for the center left guard and right guard so hopefully the offensive line should be better we have power up whitworth and power up shorts i want to get uh, what's that one chemistry? I can't even remember what it is. Okay, yeah, it's called Secure Protector. So essentially what it is, is it makes your pass blocking a ton better. So if there's like crazy edge pressure, Secure Protector can stop it pretty easily. So I want to get that on Mitchell Schwartz, and I also want to get that on Andrew Whitworth. I feel like that's that's kind of a must. That's going to make these two guys X-Factor players, which is tough. Uh, but, but my second X-Factor player is going to probably end up being... Tory Holt. I'm going to sell Golden Tate and then I'm going to have Tory Holt, another receiver, and Julio Jones. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. You guys can also see that I powered down a couple of these theme builders. So Tariq Cohen is now an 86 overall. Same with George Kittle. On the defensive side, I did not power down Darius Slay just because I want his speed to be as good as it possibly can be. And Adrian Amos is a card that I actually just got. He's a theme builder. He'll be my new strong safety. And, and let me tell you, he is definitely good. 86 speed with 84 zone coverage at six foot tall. That's nice, man. That's definitely going to help me out a lot. I also wanted to do an exchange set here. I have a couple NAT elites that I'm not going to use, and I might be able to pull something good for value in this pack. So essentially, if you guys didn't know, you can put your NAT elites into these exchange packs for auctionable elites. And I have an NAT George Kittle, an NAT Adrian Amos, and an NAT Tariq Cohen. So I'm going to put all these three players in this set, and then it gets me an 83 to 84 overall player. Now, if we take a look at some of the 83 and 84 overall players at a minimum 83s are going for let's check here it's looking like a lot they're going for a solid amount right at around 30,000 coins so that's not bad so at a minimum we're getting 30k that's pretty good and 84s are going for right at around 40,000 coins depending on the 84 so we could definitely get some some good value out of this pack for sure. So let's go ahead, open this bad boy up. Give me an 84. Give me Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams. 8040 Jackson. Okay. We might. Yo, I'm not going to keep a 79 speed free safety, but honestly, this would help out our team a lot. Justin Reed is good. He's definitely good. Six foot one, 83 speed, uh, 82 acceleration. That's nice. But Eddie Jackson's zone is a lot better. I just don't really like the speed, man. 79 speed is not it. Mr. Eddie Jackson is going for a solid 43,000 coins. We can probably put him up there for around 45K, maybe even 46K, and he'll sell. So that's good. That's huge. That's three NAT elites, and we just got 45K out of it. That's a big play. The main point of this video, which is what I'm going to talk about now, is how I am planning on making 
a lot of coins with a little amount of coins. Now, there's a little bit of a risk to it, but there's a method to the madness. I've seen some people talk about this on Twitter, and I figured I'd make a YouTube video on it, kind of explaining in this No Money Spent series how you can do it as a No Money Spent player, right? Now, the whole point of stocks and the auction house is to buy low and sell high. That's pretty much the obvious reasons. Now, the cards that are going to sell high are your Odell Beckhams, your Antonio Browns, Julio Jones, Patrick Mahomes, the big name players, those players are going to sell for a lot. And the best place to look is in the power up section. So for example, Odell Beckham at one point in the year was going for around 10,000 coins. His power up was going for around 10,000 coins. He ended up getting a brand new card and now we're going to check and see how much he goes for. Yeah, Odell's going for right at around 50,000 coins, maybe even 58,000 coins for that matter. So if you can buy this card at even 30k right he's gonna go up in price once he get his new card to like 50 60k so using this thought using this principle how can we apply that to make more coins with different players so one player for example that's definitely a fan favorite is the man julio jones right now let's check and see what julio jones what his power up is going for julio jones's power up is going for 20 thousand coins now let's say i was to sell this back i bought it i sold it back for 20k right i would get 18k back so essentially if i can sell this card for 22,000 coins 23,000 coins at any time i'll make a profit right if he gets a new card this julio jones is gonna skyrocket in price right so 20,000 coins is a bargain for him right now. He's going to go so much more up. Let's check out Aaron Rodgers, right? Let's check out Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers' power up is not super expensive right now. It's also not a wide receiver. Aaron Rodgers' power up is going for 5,500 coins. So if you don't have a lot of coins, right, you want to spend 15, 20K, go buy four of these Aaron Rodgers, right? When he gets a new card, which it's going to be a 90 overall, maybe even a 91, something like that, this power up right here is going to skyrocket in price. So if you spend 20K and then each of these doubles or triples in value, you could make a ton of coins with not a lot. Does that kind of make sense? That's pretty much the concept of buy low, sell high, especially in the power up market early in the year. It's an easy way to make coins, even if you don't really have that much. If you guys look at some of the ones that I purchased today, I got Tom Brady for 9,600 coins, Aaron Rodgers for 6,100. I got Zeke for 12,000. I got D hop for 15 K and Antonio Brown for 10 K. These are all players who have not gotten a new card recently, at least not to my knowledge. And if they get a new card, let me tell you, these power-ups are going to go up in price, 100%. So let's say you have 100K like me, right? You probably just wanna go into the power-up section and then maybe purchase, I don't know, a couple Aaron Rodgers, right? You don't wanna purchase too many cards, but let's say, okay, you have a million coins, right? Let's say you have a million coins on your account. You're an insane grinder, okay? You know what you should probably do? And I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say, do this, you're gonna make coins, because I never know for sure, but I have a pretty good idea. Let's say you bought 100K worth of Aaron Rodgers, right? If his card just doubles in value, that's it. If it goes from 5K to 10K, you make 100,000 coins, okay? Easy 100K, obviously not counting the tax, but that's an easy 100K. Let's say um, it triples in value, that's, that's 200K. Let's say it quadruples in value. Let's say these Aaron Rodgers start selling for 20K. Then you're looking at 400,000 coins, 300,000 coins, crazy amounts. So like I said, the basic principle of this entire thing in the power-up section is buy low, sell high, and it's pretty easy to make coins. Just look for players that haven't gotten cards yet and be smart about it. Another thing that I feel like I should probably mention is I heard House Rules is coming out very soon. So if House Rules is introduced tomorrow, I will 100% be playing a couple games of House Rules with this No Money Spent team. I really don't want to push this series out so much to where it's the only thing on my channel, but I guess if you guys want to see it, I'm going to continue to pump it out. If we could put out like 100 episodes of No Money Spent, that would be insane. I feel like I could do that, honestly, because I'm already at like 10 episodes and we haven't even had Madden for more than a month. So, I mean, it's possible. Either way, though, boys, hopefully you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And guys, I'll see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm so, I'm so